Hi, this is Donnie Love from Big Jib Productions. Join us as we follow the lives of four dynamic and charismatic real estate agents in this exciting and competitive industry. Welcome to Open House NL. What makes a great realtor? I think there's people that are going to be always better at listing product and there's going to be yep. people that are better at purchasing product. They're two completely different processes. By all means, yep. you're going to manage expectations, especially right now we just came, well in my opinion it's been a buyer's market for almost two years, but the price adjustment from what I see has started taking place over the last three months. Yep. Yep. You could have listed something in September and now that we're in late November, you got to explain to your client, oh, this is what it's worth now because it's two Market. years of over inventory, it's now finally adjusting. We're all kind of specialize in one way or another. Um, maybe a little bit of both between the listing and the, the selling side, but mm -hmm. particularly communication so that your clients are informed. Information is the key to any success. It's also, you know, the cornerstone of your financial well-being for most people. It's a huge financial pur purchase. And a lot of people don't recognize when they're buying a house, what they're doing is entering a market. They're entering a financial market. Mm -hmm. It's no different mm -hmm. than the stock market. We right. have to be able to try and help them see that. Absolutely. Or, and if they ultimately decide it, they're doing it with knowledge. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's their decision, right? Yeah. yeah. Certain people that know they're overbuilding their home. I mm -hmm. got a message yeah. from a gentleman the other day. He's like, I need an appraisal. I'm adding 5,000 square feet, 2,500 in garage, 2,500 in living space. It'll be the most expensive house in the street. But here's what I want to be worth. That's like, yeah. you're right. paying this monthly fee yeah. in a form of a mortgage or whatever for your family and your enjoyment. Yeah. yeah. One thing that's really easy to do, I found, being self-employed, is that it's really easy to let yourself go a little bit. I And I, I love going in the morning. First of all, it, it, he definitely wakes you up. <laughs> he wakes you up, I go there, and he, he knows my strengths and weaknesses. So he uh, works harder on the weaknesses and keeps up the strengths. Um, but it gets, it gets your mind going, it keeps everything active uh, and then throughout the day if uh, if you work me really hard and I know I'm gonna be in pain at least I can work it out through the day as opposed to going to sleep and not being able to walk the next day this is my me time uh, it gives me some clarity of thought sometimes I'm working through problems uh, and so in my head I'm trying to overcome them I'm known quite a bit from my clients perspective as a problem solver so that kind of I work through those problems in my head then uh, and with those boxing gloves on if you're having a bad day it's a really good way to get aggression out <laughs> it helps that way too okay. come on Arthur for me especially in real estate there's no real day off uh, sometimes you might get a Saturday but Sunday for the most part you're always doing open houses or viewings don't tell dad though he said that it gives you a bad belly. If you get a Saturday off and Allie's not working, we're a little bit more lax on the get up, so we might take our time, and he likes it because he gets to stay in bed for a bit longer. But for the most part, uh, on the average day, whenever he starts licking my feet, because he shares the bed with us, it means he has to go use the washroom. And then from there, I try to get a coffee or something and start the day, uh, maybe 6, 6.30, depending what season it is for the most part, and then start with the emails. If she's not going to work till later, we'll try to run into the gym, something along those lines, and then go our separate ways for the day. Look. Ooh, perfect. Andrew, mm. can you make me an espresso, please? Okay. Give me oatmeal? Yes. Hi. Uh-oh. Uh, today, I have a viewing before those open houses and some emails. Nice. 
Got to get everything clued up before you get those wisdoms yanked. So my name is Allie Forsey. I work at a local bank here in St. John's. But how I fill up my days, you know, I work. Uh, when I come home, I usually try to get something ready for supper, play with Arthur, and, uh, you know, just spend time with Andrew. And I'm always, you know, looking for trips for us to go on. <laughs> I like to spend a lot of my time. Living and being in the relationship with a realtor is interesting, to say the least. Uh, Andrew is constantly on his phone, on his email. When Andrew told me that he wanted to get in real estate, I just knew that it was going to be the perfect career for him. He you know, already had a bit of a background in it, and just his personality and you know, the amount of people that he knows, because he's so outgoing, I just knew that he was going to do so well. Um, he's not afraid to you know, tell people that they're wrong, but he's not afraid to admit that he's wrong either. A typical day for us, it's hard to say because like I said, you know, Andrew's schedule is all over the place and you know, for me, my schedule's pretty set. I work at a bank, it's bank hours, so that's, you know, it's good hours, it's great, but you know, throughout the day, I can text Andrew and say, what are you doing, where are you to, how is Arthur, and he's in Dunville. But yeah, so it's, you know, it's really, there's no typical day anymore, I find. It's just, it's all over the place, but we like it that way. This program has been made possible by the help of our fine sponsor, Islander RV. Experience the difference. Hi, I'm Chris from Housemaster Home Inspections. The electric hot water heaters typically last between six and eight years. If you experience a lack of hot water from your fixtures or notice any leakage from your fittings or tank itself, it may be time to replace your water heater. Ultimately worked out great for me because I got into real estate because of it. Um, I ended up being able to have a property at 22 as a single mom and I sold it a number of years later and made you know, an, enough money that I no longer needed to walk to work, which I did for <laughs> even my first day at, at the time was Cobo Banker Hanlon. I walked from Pooch Cove. It would take hours. I had it down pat. Um, I could get to Torbay in about 55 minutes. And then from Torbay was easy because Stavanger Drive wasn't too far from that. And Kent actually was the only store on Stavanger Drive with Costco at the time, so that's where I did all my shopping with Zellers. The name they gave me was the Manager of Communication and, well, let me think of it. It was really just a switchboard operator, but they gave me the title of like Manager of Communications and Customer Relations, something that made me feel a little bit <laughs> less assistant-like, but um, it was a really great job. It helped me to, I guess, get into the role of things now, particularly with new home construction, um, a lot of accounting aspects just for my own personal business and stuff that um, I really found that working at Kent was a huge benefit. into the kitchen and we'll get started. Okay. Quartz countertops. It's yep. called Black Starlight Quartz. You're fit in any with all the uh, sparkle in it, hey? Quick glittery. Yeah. It is, yeah. Under cabinet lighting. Nice. Really nice propane fireplace. They were nice enough to have yeah. it lit for us. Yeah, real nice touch here. Porcelain wall tile. Yeah. It's a little different. A little different, yeah. Yep. I'm not sure if I'm fussy about it. But. Here we've got our formal eating area. So if you've got a space here, you'd certainly put a yep. table in here that is sit eight or ten people just fine. Beautiful view of the ocean. Beautiful view of the ocean in Belle Island. Nice big window in the landing in the stairs, makes yep. for a nice bright staircase. Nice touch. So we have a linen closet here on top of the stairs by the looks of it. Yep, yep pretty standard. Really nice lighting in this house. Very, yeah. Uh, yeah, very yeah. elaborate. A lot uh, of natural light too. Yeah. Things. Master suite. Now this room nice. is a little more of the size I think you might be interested in. Yeah, the wood for like the deck off the, uh, off the master. Yeah. Walk-in closet here for the master bedroom. Okay, really big. Love to see it. 
And again, an amazing view from the uh, from the closet. Techno one ensuite. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a beautiful uh, ensuite bathroom. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Custom glass sided jet tub. Wow. Got an imported um, vanity there with uh, you know. Very some unique. Very unique. Very yeah. interesting sinks. Very interesting vanity. So how is it heated or is it, I didn't see heat. any electric heat on no. the walls or anything. So. Heat, heat for this house is provided with an air source heat pump, um, which provides very economical heating throughout the winter and also in, uh, will provide air conditioning throughout the summer. My preferred uh, contractor for the concrete. Well, there's again, like people are at home, they're looking online, and what's the statistic? Seven months average that they're at home looking online before they ever walk into a house, um, which usually starts with open houses and stuff, but they still don't know the process. They really uh, don't understand it. They don't understand that on a buyer's perspective, the money um, most times is generated from the sale of the house that they're not paying out of pocket, that um, unless it's certain under different circumstances or private sales or, or whatnot. Do you find you're purchasing property for clients all the time? Do you find somewhat, now I know the process gets almost unemotional in the sense of the negotiations. We're here with numbers. Yeah. We're not, you know, thinking about, oh, I know we need that eating milk. Like, you just get so desensitized to the process that you kind of need to step back every now and then and then take it in step by step. Ultimately, we just want them to be happy with their purchase. We want to assist them getting the best price, the best house, the best location, mm -hmm. the best everything. So you, you got to find that balance. How do you find it, Andrew? I find, like, especially um, every now and then, you know, I work predominantly with buyers, I'd say 60 or so percent more. And I find, you know, I get a little desensitized. I get into the negotiations and I enjoy it. And it's fun and I, you almost go with the style of your purchaser. If you're there with a first time home buyer, it is about the rooms. It's about what they're gonna do with them and everything along those lines. And God forbid they've been looking for three months in this home they have to have. You're there trying to keep it together. Get them the best price, but you're being a little bit more easier going because you know at the end of the day, the home is worth it to them. Yes. Yeah. So, I, but I mean, I kind of like, when I make a purchase myself personally, and go through the process of the negotiations, it kind of reminds me then of how nervous they actually are because I don't get nervous. This program has been made possible by the help of our fine sponsor, Dream Kitchens, where we make your dreams come true. Hi, I'm Charlie from Your Space Our Design. Let's talk lighting. When hanging a chandelier, be sure to hang 30 to 36 inches above the dining table or island, depending on your ceiling heights. Use a dramatic light in the foyer so that people are wowed when they walk in. Don't be afraid to use bold and unique lighting. These fixtures add personality to your home. Shoes so we don't get the new hardwood. Okay. All the flooring here is new. The lights are all new. The paint yeah. uh, was just done. I'm going to give you this brochure. Okay. You don't need to read it now, but there's a lot of information in there because there's a lot of information in this house, so you can read it after. It'll recap. Okay. Um, so you've got the propane fireplace. You have a large walk-in closet here. We have it like now because this is what he's used as his bedroom. Nice and bright. And look at this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> you look have an amazing view. Uh, mm. It's a little bit windy today, but um, we're going to go out there anyway. Okay. Because uh, I'll show you. Oh, not, you won't blow away. You won't blow <laughs> away. I've many times uh, been here and watched whales jumping and during the iceberg season. My name is Una Howard, and I've um, grown up here in St. John's, Newfoundland. Well, this is Torbay, so it's just outside where I live. And uh, I've been looking at properties for about 10 years now, and I own several. Uh, I rent them out and uh, I also live in one, have a summer home as well. And I'm looking at this house potentially to live here myself and uh, also um, utilize the rental properties that are attached to it. Wine cooler, my favorite. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> my favorite piece. But it's nice to add it, yeah. And then your, your double fridge just off the kitchen, we have laundry in the back. Well, this house in particular I love because of the view. 
big time with the view. I like the cathedral ceiling in it. The room upstairs that uh, overlooks the water, sort of the office space, I think that's what I would use that for as an office space. And um, I, uh, I have a daughter as an artist and she would have a great time with the lighting in here, doing a lot of work on the walls and stuff. Well, I have worked with uh, a couple of other agents and actually had um, an agent that uh, I liked and uh, she moved out of the province. And uh, I kind of uh, fluked into Amanda. I was I had an eye on a house that she had. So I said, well, okay, I'll call the realtor. Again, you see a, a double-sided deadbolt on it. Um, and that would be if you wanted to have more of the house for you. Um, the way that she knew the house the insides of the house, because it's all great to look at cosmetics and all that, but I need to know what work is involved, you know, and what I'm gonna be looking at, especially with a tenant in the house, you're not living in it yourself, of course. You know, Amanda's one-stop shopping. It's probably the best way to put it. I'd still rather take a Absolutely. middle class home any day of the week. Me too. I would rather take three $300,000 houses over a million dollar listing any day of the week. The advantage of the, the lower brackets is you, you have multiple faucets of people buying, so uh, in the higher end homes, it's, it's owner-occupied houses, whereas with uh, the lower end homes, you can have investors. Sometimes you have uh, parents coming, you know, kids going to university and parents involving. You have uh, first-time buyers. You have people downsizing going into them. So you have more pockets to hit. Yeah. Um, so they generally go a bit faster if marketed and presented properly, of course, and price right. <laughs> I like two apartments in Mount Pearl. I've had great success. Everyone I have sells within 10 days within a percent of full price. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you know, regardless, you're going to meet clients. That's people, right. You know, people are going to call you. Yeah. And what yeah. a listing is, and what a lot of people don't understand, is that for a realtor, a listing is a business investment. Mm -hmm. Yes. We take on the listing, and we invest our time and our money up front with the expectation of selling the house and getting a return on our investment. If the house doesn't sell, we get no return on our investment. We start taking money out of our pocket the day a house gets listed. The vendor doesn't take any money out to pay us until it sells. And sometimes taking a really high-end listing and committing to make a sizable investment in it is not the greatest business decision because your likelihood of selling it is dramatically reduced. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Actually, I only have one group through as well. Yeah. Uh, no, not in this property. I think they're going to be uh, like a long-term buyer at best. They're looking for the perfect home, so well, I'd say best case for them would be to build. Mm. Uh, nice people, though. Um, all right, I'm going to call the other two there now. Hey, Mike, how'd you do? No, not one person? Yeah. Proud to say, sorry? Wow. I, I had one couple through, Larry had one couple out in Airport Heights, so it must have been a flat day across the board. Now, I, was just, or, I never got a hold of Debbie, so I assume maybe she has a, a late arrival or something. Yeah, yeah. So, it seems like one of those days. The number of houses I have for sale now are all probably around the same price point, between 250 and less than 400. Um, depending on what the house has to offer, how old the house is. Actually, we're coming up to a house that I just sold. Um, we do have an accepted agreement in place on this property that um, this was listed at 375, fully developed, up and down. I mean, value-wise, there's no doubt about it. Pooch Cove still will get you the most bang for your buck if you're looking for something that you can really um, move in and everything be ready. This program has been made possible by the help of our fine sponsor, The Real Estate Book of Newfoundland and Labrador. We help people find a place called home. Okay, folks, come on. Okay, perfect. So here we have an unfinished condo unit. It's uh, basically a mirror image of the one across the hall. Um, this particular unit will allow you to kind of choose your finishes. Okay. Um, you'd have an opportunity to choose your own flooring, cabinetry, uh, paint colors, fixtures for plumbing and lighting. Um, and it's, you know, it's basically the same as the one across the hall in a little bit of a different configuration. This wall over here will be your accent wall where your fireplace would go. 
and then okay. we continue on down to your living space. Then we come down to this your the office, office or den. The office, yeah. Bedroom. First bedroom here. And then we'll go on down to what will be the master suite. On the way, of course, we have your main bath. Yeah. His and her sinks. Yeah. Nice large ensuite. And then, of course, the very, very large walk in shower. Yeah. And it gives you an opportunity to see how it's being put together. It gives you an opportunity to see what's under the finishes as it's being done. Okay, folks, so that's um, kind of this unit uh, in its present unfinished condition. Why don't we go back across the hall and we'll have another look at the finished unit, and that'll give us an opportunity to compare and contrast, contrast the two again. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. good. So a good way to prospect for clients is being out at an open house, meeting people, making a connection. So like I said, in this area, I mean, we can go 20 to 40 people showing up. Today we got one couple. Well, today was a bust in terms of attendance. We only have one group through. I checked the, in with two of the other three agents. Uh, one had one group through. Uh, the other person had no one through at all. So it was complete bust. They said they had signs in three different locations, so no lack of traffic. There's no way to predict if you're going to have a busy or slow day with open houses. It either is or it isn't. Uh, the other agent I call is actually just around the corner from here. Didn't answer the phone. So most likely I find people do like to come in at 10, 5 minutes close to the end. And they could be there for 20 plus minutes. So she's probably still taking them around. Preparation is everything. Absolutely. If you're buying or selling, it doesn't matter. Preparation is absolutely everything. Seek professional help. Well, that's part of your preparation. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's part of your preparation. Yeah, I just you want know. to put it out there in a clear <laughs> message. Yeah. You All know, right. you, you make sure your house is in order if you're going to sell it. You mm -hmm. make sure that you have uh, checked out the financial aspect of buying or selling, because most people who are selling their house are going to buy another one, and they need to make sure financially it's all going to mm -hmm. work. Um, when the professionals you've enlisted to help you um, request things from you, if your mortgage broker or your lawyer request documentation, get it to them as quickly as you can. Seek professional advice. Like, I mean, if anyone gives me a contract that's outside of real estate, who am I going to? A lawyer. lawyer. I'm, I'm comparing us to lawyers, but I mean, you know, we deal with this on the daily. They deal with it on the daily. You, you gave me a contract earlier. I looked at There's a lot of stuff in there. A lawyer might say, oh, that's standard. And that's what it might be. People have uh, specialties in various areas for the reason that that's yeah. what they practice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, so, you go, know, you go to the advice. person who knows the job the best, Exactly. Right? Well, I mean... When it comes to real estate mm -hmm. and stuff, you, you come to the realtors. When it comes to the, you know, like when we have questions about any aspects uh, for photography of a house, well, we get photographers. Yeah. Like we do, right. you know, You had an mortgages. insurance issue you went to, was it Brock or... Yeah, yeah. like we right. talk, we yeah. talk to, uh, and, and that's the best thing I could say to, mm -hmm. to anybody about real estate is it, when you're... You know, so if it's a mortgage person, talk to your broker. Um, when you're going to sell, make sure you don't have penalties. And if you do, know it. You know, so you want to talk to the professionals uh, in whatever industry. Now, the good thing about us is that we deal with so many different industries. A lot of times, they can just come to us, and we can kind of point them in the directions mm. of, of where it is best to get the answers or get the answers for them if it's not too personal of a nature. Yeah. Um, so that, that's kind of the benefit of us. We act as medians between a lot of Different. Different, so we get little bits of aspects right. of everything, right? Classical. Modern. Contemporary. With. Or without windows. Sand. Claystone. Mocha. It's a girl I got.